And now, your first alert five weather. Well, it's an active Mother's Day weekend for sure down here in southeastern Colorado. Check out this first round of rain showers that's now moving over into parts of Kansas. Heavy at times here as it moves out towards Scott City, but that is far away from us. We're watching round two that's now moving over top of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains. And as it does so, when it moves over those peaks, that's where we have some thunder snow. But the, on the lower elevations here, we have the green, we have the orange, we have the red. The heavy rain here and a couple of claps of thunder embedded in here. We do have some thunderstorms to watch out for with this out towards Canyon City. We also have some rain. It looks like it's starting to come to an end here as it heads up towards the higher peaks, but as it moves over top, it's going to come down towards us here in Colorado Springs. Nothing falling in advance just yet, I should say, in terms of a broader range, but it will start to fall here in about the next half hour. Live look here in Colorado Springs from our sky cam. You can see the clouds moving ever so slowly from the right hand side to the left hand side of your screen. That is the rain that is starting to move in. Current temperature right now is 57 degrees with a solid South wind at around 15 miles an hour. Down south in Pueblo on the River Rock, you can see it's actually raining down there. That's a nice, refreshing change for us here and with a current temperature of 55 degrees. Elsewhere around the region at this time, we've got some 60s out here on the eastern plains where the rain hasn't fallen just yet, but it's definitely rain cooled farther back towards Pueblo, Walsenburg, Rye, and even Westcliff. Only a cool, cool 35 degrees at this hour. A lot Excuse me, as far as south, the rest of southeastern Colorado is concerned, we're still looking at some sunshine here for parts of Lyman, but it was a good mix of sun and clouds throughout the day. We're still dealing, though, with a very unsettled weather pattern right now, and it's going to continue to be that for the next several days. So this area of low pressure that's starting to spin, now moving into southwestern Colorado, the state that is, this is left over. This is what's been with us the entire week starting from last weekend. So this is the final push of this area of low pressure, but it's going to be affecting us tonight as well as for most of Mother's Day. So if tomorrow what's going to happen is as this area of low pressure pulls off into the eastern plains, we're going to start to see a wraparound effect with some showers and storms for your Mother's Day. Eventually this will pull on out for Monday, but then as we start to clear things out, we're also going to see an uh, we're going to see start to see a northwesterly flow, and that means a chance for once again some showers and thunderstorms. I Isolated in nature, but for Monday afternoon. Saturday, this is we head into the evening hours, 8 o'clock this evening, watching this heavier rain pull out into the far eastern plains, and then by 11 o'clock or so, it should be out towards the Kansas border. Now, for tomorrow morning, we're going to be looking at mostly cloudy skies, but as that area of low pressure moves out and that wraparound effect pulls on in, this is where we start to see the rain start to increase here for the Pikes Peak region and for most of southeastern Colorado as well. Where we see the showers and thunderstorms, that's where we're going to see the heaviest amount of rainfall, but we also have a little bit of snow to talk about in the central mountains where they could pick up a couple more inches, but in the highest of elevations. Overnight lows tonight will be nice, if not a little muggy, a little clammy out there. Mid 40s out in the eastern plains, 42 for us here in Colorado Springs, 62 for a high tomorrow with maybe some 70s in the extreme southeastern corner where they could see just a little bit more sunshine. Forecast looks like this. 62 for tomorrow, as I mentioned. Scattered rain showers, but the timing of this is actually really interesting because as we head throughout the day, it's really the morning hours where we're going to see the greatest chance for those rain, that rain and isolated thunderstorms as this st system starts to wrap itself around. As we head throughout the day, we start to see things taper off a little bit, but still have a chance for some isolated thunderstorms here in the Pikes Peak region. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the chances for showers and thunderstorms increase ever so slightly with each day. And then Wednesday we have another storm system making its way on through, and that's the best chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms for us here in southeastern Colorado. Heading towards Canyon City, though, things are starting to look nice as we head towards Thursday, Friday, and Saturday as we start to clear out and our temperatures start. A destructive windstorm at the beginning of the week.